Chetwin police are looking for one male suspect on Tuesday afternoon. The Chetwin RCMP responded to the People's Drug Store in downtown Chetwin. One man brandished a weapon at the drug counter and demanded an unknown product while dozens of customers were trapped inside the store. Witnesses were having trouble identifying the man, but one eyewitness, Tanya Richter, says he had one distinguishing feature. While I was shopping, apparently an armed robbery happened down at the pharmacy area. I didn't see it myself. I was down one of the aisles while I heard um, a little bit of talking going on and then all of a sudden I heard silence, so I didn't think nothing of it. Well, we uh, we normally actually uh, will um, we came to work actually like normally around nine. It was a very busy day because it's you know it's a long, it was a long weekend, right? And we're expecting high volume of prescriptions, right? So everyone was focused more than normal and in, in, in doing his or uh, or her tasks, right? So we're uh, we're focused and there was a checking actually prescriptions. Uh, suddenly, actually, I found a scarred guy. I didn't see him. I didn't see him actually uh, entering behind the counter. I didn't see him. I just saw him just beside me. That was he was actually a scarred. So uh, like, then I start to question, what do you want, right? Then he was holding a bag, right? A big one, a big one. Um, and uh, he was pointing, he got like a gun, like handgun actually, uh, from the out of the bag and was pointing it to me and he's saying actually, like he's requesting uh, controlled medications, right? Um, uh, then I told him, okay, okay, I started to calm him down, right? Um, yeah, calm down, man. We'll we'll do whatever you want. But just tell me exactly what you want. Tell me, give me whatever you have. I'm, I'm not gonna do this actually. Just tell me exactly what you want. And he told me a couple of things, or, or uh, three or four products. I give him some. I tell him, please, you can please leave. We don't want trouble here. Then he left. I followed him actually until he's out of the store. I closed both exits of the store and uh, I, I, uh, I made sure actually the back door is locked as well and I told, uh, I told the, um, the customers actually in the store could you please like hold you don't, guys, you don't want guys to go out now there is a man with a gun outside and uh, if you can please wait uh, until I call the cops so I called the local police first then uh, 911 uh, to do their investigation and uh, that sort of thing yeah. and they, I, re I really actually appreciate what they did actually because they were here in less than a minute which is uh, very good actually gave us like you know uh, a good feeling actually we're, we're protected right yeah. oh, it was very calm very calm it was um, yeah it, nobody went all freaky and nobody no, it was, it was, yeah, handled probably the right way, so nobody did get hurt. It was very, very, handled very well. I totally commend Tamar. He was awesome. I was, like, actually, you know, uh, I'm not going to say terrified, but I was actually worried inside me, right? Something w m might be, happen or something might happen, right? To me, or to the staff, or to the customers, or to any person. In, in the workplace, which is not gonna be cool, right? So I, but I didn't actually. I don't. I don't think he, he felt that. Like I, I tried the maximum or as much as I can to hide uh, these feelings, which I think I, I, I succeeded like to a, a, a high percent uh, percentage. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna come back, and I hope he's not gonna come back. But uh, yeah, we're all at work, so. Um, everybody's, yeah, everybody's pretty calm and pretty, pretty positive that I don't think he's going to come back anytime soon. I mean, I've been here just about 25 years and this is the first time. So, I mean, if they're going to come, they should have been here before. Police were on scene within minutes of the original call and no injuries to customers or staff were reported. The RCMP has declined to comment on the matter. 
But sources say Tamer Maud was the pharmacist who was greeted by the suspect, and when he handed him the unidentified medication, the suspect left through the front door.